see the blinking lights down there? At age 42, Harvey Steiger has never before seen a president in person. Oh, is he coming? He may be. Nor has his six-year-old son, Simeon. He's like the best president I have ever had. It was a two-hour wait in the heat. They will not let me get close to him, so I thought I would just put it on my car. But just a glimpse of Barack Obama means making history for those who live in Detroit, a city where eight out of ten residents are black. I get a chance to get a picture of this guy. There he is, right there. Which one? Right, right, yeah, the one in the back. The president was on an auto tour. His mission was to convince voters in an election year that the controversial $60 billion auto industry bailout was worth it. Six months after the federal loans were granted, General Motors and Chrysler filed for bankruptcy, and American car companies eliminated 330,000 jobs. Last year, many thought this industry would keep losing jobs, as it had for the better part of the past decade. Today, U.S. automakers have added 55,000 jobs since last June, the strongest job growth in more than 10 years in the auto industry. Adding to the national attention brought by a presidential visit, Chrysler this week took out this four-page ad in USA Today. It promotes their newest model made here at the plant, the 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Analysts say the success of the industry partly hinges on new models like the Jeep to extend profitability well beyond presidential visits. And they say the industry needs to be the leader in technology. On the president's next stop, he examined the Chevrolet Volt, America's newest introduction into the electric car market, with delivery expected in several months. You're producing the cars of the future, right here at this plant. Producing cars that are going to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Mr. Obama also said America cannot just buy from other countries, that U.S. automakers need to export more. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, with the President in Detroit, Michigan.